All righty. Was reading some of that wrestling news. This was more like a rumor, I think. L.A. Knight apparently slated to sign a new long-term deal. Five-year deal making him a top baby face, if not the top baby face on SmackDown. Um, he's going to beat Roman for the belt. He deserves it. Bully Ray, he says in the, another article there that he doesn't see what other people see and that the catchphrases and stuff is only going to go so far, basically. He needs to have better matches. This is what I saw. I saw nobody saying anything. He's then added to the Money in the Bank match. Suddenly, a bunch of AEW pages on Facebook and stuff like this, they all start coming out that if LA Knight doesn't win, then F WWE, F McMahon, F Triple H, basically like uh, another hijack thing, you know what I mean? For Triple H to put him in the money in the bank there is because he wanted to put him in. He sees something in him. But for these guys to act like it's them controlling everything is just fucking stupid. It's pointless. These fans, they're so power-hungry wrestling fans. They think they're entitled to control everything. It's insane. You know what I mean? That's what I don't like about it. I don't dislike L.A. Knight. I think he's doing a good job recently, stuff like this. But it's not like he's, uh, you know, deserving of everything. He's had like three matches so far on the main roster. He needs to develop naturally. Uh, this thing of hijacking everything, it never ends well for the wrestlers or the promotion or the ego of the fans or whatever. But yeah, so LA Knight, basically their apparently five-year contract where he's going to take the throne, take the place of Jesus Christ is the rumor there. But, uh, you know, let's see what happens with this guy naturally you know what i mean that's my opinion anyway there until next time peace